Hey everyone, it's been quite a long time since I've made a YouTube video. Um, in fact, I can't even remember the last time that I did. But um, so here's one now. It's it's actually a project that I made maybe well a few months ago now, but I just haven't documented it. It's actually called the Digi Rule, and you can kind of make out there that it's called Digi Rule, but for some reason the solder mask has covered it up, so you can't really see it. Um, I've seen on the internet some PCB rulers. Um, so here's one that hasn't been made. Um, hasn't been manufactured, I should say, or assembled. And I've seen different rulers out there that you can get, and it gives you um, a few component sizes on there and um, and some drill hole sizes and so forth. So I thought, well, that's a pretty good idea. I'll, I'll make one of them, but I'll make it just a little bit different. And with mine, it's got some LEDs and some buttons, and it just does a few different bits and pieces. Um, you can see down here, it's got measurements. So these are centimeters down the bottom. And they're written in in binary, so it goes up to 15 centimeters. And up the top, we've got inches, um, so it goes up to six inches. For this one, it's powered by a little CR1220 three volt battery. It's got an on/off switch, pick microcontroller, and uh, buttons and LEDs to perform different um, digital functions. So if we turn the thing on with this switch, you can see we get some LEDs coming on here. Uh, over this left hand side over here we've got logic gates so you can select between different ones with this button so not or and xor nor nand xnor and these two here set set the input so for example if i went to an and gate zero zero gives me an output of zero zero one gives me an output of zero one zero gives me an output of zero and of course one one is an output of one you can do it for different gates. Uh, let's go to exclusive NOR. Zero, zero is a one, but any time I get a difference, I'll get a zero. Any time it's the same, I get a one. So it just allows you to go through the different logic functions there, or the different logic gates. Uh, this middle section is flip-flops. So you can select between uh, SR or RS, uh, whichever way you say it, JK, toggle, and data. So for example, we go to a JK flip-flop, the inputs zero zero, the outputs as in Q and not Q. Every time you get a clock pulse, will be no change. If I do zero on, uh, actually, since it's not Q is on, I'm going to have to do um, this one. So if I go one zero and give it a clock pulse, Q will go to a one, and because every successive clock pulse, I'm just telling it to do the same thing, so it stays at a one. Zero, zero is no change, so you can see every clock pulse, no change. Zero, one, that's going to cause it to reset to a zero, so Q goes to a zero. Zero, zero on the inputs, no change. And then finally, one, one is toggle. So every time you press it, it will toggle. And then you've also got the toggle flip-flop there. Uh, where is it? Toggle flip-flop and data flip-flop. <clears throat> and finally, we have a 4-bit counter. So you've got um, your binary weightings, one, two, four, eight for 4 bits. And you press this button to count up, and this button to count down. Uh, looking on the back, it just gives you some details. Where is it? There it is. So it shows you the truth tables for your toggle flip-flop, your data flip-flop, set reset, uh, JK flip-flop, and then all your different logic gates down here. It also gives you a binary conversion table, some resistor um, surface mount resistor sizes, and also some drill sizes. So that's basically it. So I use it at work just when, when I need to rule things and um, it lets me rule things in binary and have some flashing lights. Um, well, that's about it. Thanks for watching.